Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm gonna be watching the new patch preview for patch 4.3 I haven't read any leaks about it. I know a lot of people were posting it, but I didn't do it so I could have a raw reaction to it So many people are talking about crazy new things that are coming I do know there are new runes coming and stuff like that, but Let's see. Let's see what the hell it is. It, it, it's getting people very hyped as you can see right here. It's, it's getting people very very hyped all right, let's get to it. Hey friends, Let me just make sure you can see everything. And I'm John, product lead on Wild you can see everything. Also known as my sparring partner. Sparring because partner. This patch is all about getting bigger, better, faster, stronger for the ultimate victory. Hmm. From okay. From smiling, speedy, and spooky champions to a summer event that is sure to be a knockout. We're They're all talking right. about knockout, so like sort of a boxing type of champion. What? What can we expect? To get into the fight. Welcome to Wild Rift Patch 4.3. I think this is cute. This is nice. Nicely done. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay. Champions. A cheerful new presence graces the dragon. A new dragon laner? Nila. Nila? I'm, I'm gonna call her Nyla. There's no way it's Nila. Come on. It's Nyla. Nyla! Boy unbound. She is ready she has to a waterbend her whip sword against any She has a whip. Nila is a shorter range marksman. Now, if you dream oh. of your teammates buffing you up so you can 1v5, well, Nila will sure okay. help you make a splash. Oh, whoa, what? A competitor in How? Main event, but How is that an ADC? Wait, what? So you How is this an ADC? She has a spear or she has a whip and... Nila what? Will surely help you make a splash. Look! She is also a mysterious competitor. But how is that an ADC? She doesn't have range. More on that later. I know he said she has low range, but edge. Vladimir the Crimson Reaper. Vladimir. For for the oh, he looks bonus cool. Bonus health grants him bonus ability power, and his ability power grants him even more health. Wait, bonus health grants him ability power, and his ability power grants him even more health. Okay. He a whole double dipping here. His burst damage and self sustain makes. Wait, I, I, I'm just carefully paying attention to the map and to the dragon just to maybe see if there's anything new, you, you know what I mean? Here. Let's see, what does this champion do? damage and self-sustain makes for a deadly one-two punch. Siphon what? Light from your enemies to deal massive area what is that? And nobody stands a chance against your hemo blood. What is What is he even doing? I don't get this. What? What a weird champion. And speeding into the fight. Another the champion, Hecarim. The shadow of war. A what is this? Who's gotta go fast? Once a proud knight, this shadowy specter cool. tramples the souls of the living wherever he goes. Okay. He okay. A percentage of his bonus movement speed as attack damage. So percentage of his movement speed as attack damage. Yo, you must ghost blade. Immediately so thinking about that. Terrify your opponent. Now, how's that for an intimidation tactic? He's fast. Look at how fast he is. Rework? Lux is getting reworked. I know that. It's a horrible rework, by the way. We've got a few reworks. For oh, a few reworks. And love. Focusing on what makes them unique. You know what? I want to say something, though. I'm really glad that this guy is in the video. Like, he's not afraid. You know, he obviously has a bit of an accent in English. And I'm really, really glad that he's, he has the confidence to show up on the video and explain to us what he has been working on. So, you know... Great, good for you. Really, really good. Janna has a couple pain points right now. Wait, what? Janna gets a rework? The for releasing Howling Gale can be finicky. Is it finicky though? And her ultimate is often accidentally cancelled. Whoa! So this rework will focus what? on making her abilities more consistent. Uh, and then there's Annie. Wait, look at this. And wait, first of all... First of all, she has Maybe two tornadoes now, if you pay attention to it. Through. Look, Jana look, she has two tornadoes. Look. There's a couple pain points right now. She has another one. She literally has another one. Can be finicky. And, and her, her ultimate, ultimate you literally just click on the ult and it won't go away. Nah, come on. What? That makes it no. Nah, I don't like this. They're making it easier. They're making everything easier. Oh man. Oh, by the way, about the skin giveaway, I, I, I'll pick the winners tomorrow. I promise, because today's video is a bit of a special one, so I don't want to pick winners. But what? What do you mean accidentally cancelled? I don't. You know, I mean, actually, you know, that does happen but sometimes. Rewards, sometimes. We are focused okay. on making her abilities more consistent, and then there's Annie. No, don't tell me they're butchering Annie. Don't destroy Annie, please. Don't destroy my Annie. Time, step in the league universe, and we felt it was time to give her a makeover. 
changes will be focused specifically around her interactions with Tibbers. Okay. And our goal is to emphasize the power fantasy when you unleash the fire protector onto your opponents. Okay, but they're not saying what the change is. But Lux is getting a rework too. Why are they not talking about that? I don't know. Get ready for a flurry of gameplay changes. Okay. Will for sure, shake up the meta. Starting with the overhaul of the runes. Yeah, system, runes are getting changed. Oh, look at that. They will bring 11 new runes. 11? New runes and a few wow. existing ones. 11 new Shizong runes. will no longer be bound to specific rune paths. Our aim here is to provide a wider variety of rune combinations so you can feel the impact of choosing the buffs and bonuses. So you can choose a site. You can choose a side. Wait, let me go back to it. You can so like starting with the overhaul of the rune system. Let's see. So how does this work? I think it's some something with like you choosing sides or something. But then you can see he does have demolish unlocked and then all the ones on the left. Now I think this is great. This really stirs up the new like the new runes because we've had the, you know the it's rune game has been quite still for a really long time. We've had some new runes like Kraken Slayer, Phase Rush, Sudden Impact, but it's it's like this is big. This is like a massive rune change. Very very nice. Variety of rune combinations, so you can feel the impact of choosing the buffs and bonuses that are the most important. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're testing vision changes. Vision changes. Help you clear up the fog of war. Scryer's Blooms will now reveal a fixed location. What? Plus a bonus area at the end of their reign. Wait, what? They'll, now reveal a They'll be a clear up what? the fog of war. Scry Scryer's Blooms will now reveal a fixed location. Scryer's Blooms will now reveal a fixed location. Plus a bonus area at the end of their reign. So it immediately reveals it? Is that what they mean? Instead of like going like and then a little bit of a bonus at the end? And when inner turrets goes down, when a little turrets... pearl will spawn in the nearby jungle. This what? fuzzy little friend will help grant you team vision. So you can hang on to jungle control, even if you took up some early. Wait, so if your turret gets killed, a little pearl goes in your jungle and gives you vision. Okay. All right. For the fighting spirit patch, we're lending a hand to every team's biggest helpers. We'll be reworking several support items, okay. just like we did back then for the marksman and wow. tanks in previous. This episodes. is good. These are a lot of changes. We're this also is good. Introducing new boot enchants. New boot enchants. Oh, what is this? What is this? There's two new boots. What is this? Ones. And these new kicks will help you move just as fast while unlocking some new effects. What is it? Wait. Two, both of them give you movement speed. And both of, the Glutinous Griefs and the other one, they give you vampirism? Kicks we'll, we'll see, they're not giving us any details. Wow. Unlocking some new effects. You also see a new comeback mechanic in your game. A new comeback mechanic? The team that's behind, ah, let me guess what it is. I'm gonna guess what it is. If you're behind, the enemy turrets will become golden. Like, I think that's something that is in PC League. So, like, the enemy turrets and, and dragon and everything will become golden. So, you get an extra bounty if you take them. Let's see what, what, what it actually is. Um, I think it's going to be that one. The team that's behind will receive bonus rewards for taking down enemy structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? It's, it, it is. It is. What is this? Choose an... Oh, that's the game mode. We're introducing a limited time game mode this patch. We already had this, right? Kind of like a combination Wait, of what? and ultimate. Oh Snowboard. my god, that's Plus a big a few new tricks. But we're always looking to make updates to ARAM as a whole. Okay. Keep it up fresh. So keep an eye out for later. Interesting. Tests. So they're making ARAM more fun too. Events. I'm not a lot of an event guy, but let's watch it anyways. Just kidding. I won't actually show you my secret fighting skills. That wouldn't be fair. But you, yes, you better start training mm -hmm. because soul fighter is the event you won't want to miss i'm training Punch into what is this world of super powerful fighters duking it out oh the tournament to crown a champion of the oh that's sick team. it's all hitting in the second oh half that's of July. sick Either story mode game no mode, that's so sick oh Plus, my god wow it's like a whole mini game in wild rift soul powering experience now, we don't want to give everything away before you play. No, that's sick. You got the gun wow. to jump in the ring 
Okay, you, you know what? Wow, ranked. What is happening wow, with ranked? Wow, I can't wait to enter a tournament of souls. I mean, seriously, I'd love to go head to head with Yasuo. I think you'd beat him. Tired of always losing to that champ in mid lane. <laughs> Outside of the arena, we can join the climb and try to reach a new peak with rank 2 and 10. Of course, as you reach new heights, you will be on your way to earning this season's ranked skin. It's Jarvan. Ah, oh, Jarvan skin. Who cares about Jarvan? We are also introducing a new rank. There will be situated. What? Right We're introducing a new rank that will be situated right above okay. Challenger. With this change, we are also optimizing how. Huh? Sovereign? What is that? What is that? We're optimizing how many stars you need to rank up. You will need to rank up to provide a more pleasant growth path. We also wanted to take. Wait. Don't tell me you need 100 LP for Sovereign. But but it's the same logo as Challenger. They're being lazy. But why? You know what? I get why. I do understand why. This is to kind of not make the Challenger game still. Like you reach Challenger and then what? You know, there's a lot of players that are reaching like beyond Challenger. And they want to add a new rank to it, I suppose. To like make it, you know, the ultimate Challenger. Something like that. Okay. Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Because... If, you, if they make it 100 LP to rank up, it's not really about how good you are. It's more about how much you play. 100 LP. Like, when you reach Master, you need 100 more positive games to reach this rank. Which is crazy. Like, that's, that's just so many games. Like, okay, imagine if you're an incredible player. You know, you're one of the best players. Let, let's actually say you are literally the best player of Europe. Season Reset came in, which brought you back to Diamond 4. You will need, like... You will need hundreds of games to reach Sovereign, even with like an 80% win rate. Uh, so like they're really trying to push you to play a lot, like really play a lot, go for the Sovereign rank. Damn. I don't like it, I don't like that. Okay, Legendary Q. I hope they will make some positive changes to Legendary Q, because I never play Legendary, because I think it's kind of stupid. But if they make it a bit better, then why not? Our goal was that this would be... You know what I think they should change about Legendary Cube? Instead of it being open for 12 hours, it should be open for like 4 hours. If they do it like that, every day 4 hours, then it's gonna be a high, like high quality matchmaking. That's when it's gonna be high quality. Like maybe even 2 hours. So like within those 2 hours, you can have the best games ever because everyone is gonna be playing, everyone in high elo is gonna be playing Legendary Cube. So you're gonna have the best games ever they need to do that not 12 hours if the game is available for 12 hours it's no different than normal rank that's why i never play it be a place where the best of best queued up and showed off their skills yeah we recently raised that's the, the point requirement to help with this and in this patch we'll be changing how you see legendary Wait, what? requirement to help with this and what is the difference between like top 10 legend top 100 top thousand in i don't this get it patch, We'll be changing how you see legendary point milestones, adding new rewards and some other quality of life adjustments. Yeah. So it feels as prestigious. That's not. As that's no change. That's nothing. Damn. They did like. That's basically nothing. Well. In the past, our wow passes have always lasted for about two months, since they start on the first day of the patch and end on the last day. Now, however, during our last update, we announced that our patches were going to be a little longer, as we're mm -hmm. going from six to five patches. Because of this, we wanted to make sure there wasn't a lull period where you're already done with the previous pass and the next one hasn't started yet. So, starting with this patch, we're adding a second wall pass. What? Which means double the skins and the goodies. No. Now, that sounds like a gold grab. Like, honestly, they already brought the gambling system to Wild Earth, which I'm severely against. Now they want you to buy two wild passes? Are you kidding me? So, like, it overlaps each other? Instead of making the wild passes last longer, they're making you buy two? Let's get to what you've been waiting for. The Wild Pass skins for the Fighting Spirit Pack. <sighs> Here to torment your dreams or join in on the chaos of your nightmares is Dream Raider Thresh. You'll Thresh already has enough skins, come on. He joins the fight. But that's sick though. Now, where is our private eye? We could really use some help here. But they should have, like, how good would it look if Thresh had the skeleton instead of, you know, looking like, like this? I don't know, this doesn't look scary. The second wall pass skin is a second little wall. less scary. There's two wall it's passes. It's Booster, it's Yumi. Who even oh. wants Yumi? Who even wants Yumi? Oh, oh, oh. What is this? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, guys. No, no, don't turn it into a hand sandwich. 
Oh, can we get a gin skin? As no, always, guys. That's a, okay, okay. That's too much to ask. We literally just got a gin skin. Loads of new skins coming out. But Graga skin. We need a Graga skin. Please, for once, Whether a Graga you skin. Find new threats for Chenny Arc, add a little sparkle and magic to your life, or travel to a totally different timeline, we've got you covered. Here they are. Oh, that's sick. That, that, that looks like a cartoon. You know what? That's a banger skin. What can I say? I am not going to be buying skins, though. It is what it is. Soul Fighter Nyla. Is that Caitlyn or is it Aurelia? Soul Fighter Aurelia. Soul Fighter Draven. That's a cool skin as well, actually. Wow. Soul Fighter Yasuo. Why does Yasuo get a skin? Come on. Star Guardian Ari Mythic Chroma. Ah, that's gonna be one of those disgusting pay to win skins. Of course, right? Star Guardian Sona. We get a Sona skin. Yeah, I said I was not gonna buy skins. But yes, we're getting a Sona skin. What is this? Star Guardian Kaisa? How does Kaisa need more skins? She has good skins too. Is that Zoe? Yeah, Star Guardian Zoe. Star Guardian Soraka? Soraka doesn't need skins. We already have Banana Soraka. Mecha Scion. Oh, that's a nice skin, actually. That's a banger. I like that one. Mega Urgot. Oh, actually, also nice. Gragas? Mega Atrox. We literally just got an Atrox skin, didn't we? Can we just get a Gragas skin? Gragas. Mecha Galio. Galio doesn't need a skin either. Come on. Pulse Fire Fiora. F How does Fiora need a skin? She has so many skins. Pulse Fire Caitlyn. Okay. Stargazer Vex. That's a lot of skins, by the way. It just keeps going. Stargazer Twisted Fate Mythic Chroma. Mythic Chroma sounds like a scam well, to me. That's everything for the fighting spirit. Wow, what a massive patch. A oh my god. Yet cheerful new champions. Concocting new builds with Oof. the rune system. And of course, enjoy the legendary tournament of soul. By the way, guys, As make always, sure you give the video we'll a like. The give it a like. I forgot to say. <laughs> hey, hey guys, I told you to keep the windows closed. Hey, uh -oh. this isn't funny anymore. Uh -oh. oh, turn the lights back on. <laughs> Yo, this is the last straw. It is okay. not funny anymore. Ah! Okay, you guys need to work on your acting skills. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> funny anymore. Okay, I see. That is amazing, actually. What an amazing patch. Let me know your thoughts on the patch in the, in the comments. That, that's a massive surprise. Wow. And that's what happens if you don't look at the leaks. Like, you see every, you know, you see everything the first time. I'm really curious to hear about the details. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.